Hello, and welcome to another week of Discussing Fitchburg Now. I'm your host, Sam Squalia. This is brought to you by FATV from the Workers' Credit Union Virtual Studios. Thank you so much for watching. This week, we are talking with the Fitchburg Cultural Council, one of my favorite cultural councils of all 351 cultural councils in Massachusetts, <laughs> art and culture. And we have uh, the new chair, Tamar, and we have the new co-chair, Adrian, to talk about all kinds of stuff that's going on thanks to the newest recent Fitchburg Cultural Council reorganization meeting. Is that right? <laughs> yes, ma'am, that's right. All right, great. So uh, you were just uh, voted in as the new chair, correct, Tamar? Yes. Um, so we had a little flux in leadership. Um, so Audrey was acting as our administrator. And we, the last um, meeting that we had, we had myself was voted in as chair. Audrey's our co-chair. So we're responsible for pretty much everything, making sure all the information gets out to the public. So that's why we're here today. So thank you for having us, Sam. Yeah. Absolutely. Anytime. So uh, the um, we're talking about, let's start with the grant, the, the big, the big, you know, focus of the uh, Fitchburg Cultural Council is the Massachusetts Cultural Council grants. And the deadline has been pushed now to December 14th, correct? That's yeah, correct. So everybody has more time. They have like a whole extra month to get their applications in. And let's give a let's give a quick uh, run through and synopsis for people that might not know what are the Massachusetts Cultural Council grants. So I'll go ahead, I guess. So the okay. Cultural Council grant is to support the whole mission of the council is to support arts, arts and culture and uh, the humanities basically within the communities of the Commonwealth, and the funds are given to us from the state. And the Commonwealth gives them directly to the city. And so the city of Fitchburg got about 43,000 last year. And then the council is put in place by the city. And their role is to obviously promote arts and culture, but also to take those monies and put them out into the public through the grant cycle. So we don't know our funds yet this year, um, but last year we had six grant applications, 60 rather, sorry. Um, this year we have 12 so far, we have 11 that are in the works. So we wanted to encourage everybody now that you have extra time to think about what you wanna do in arts and culture and the humanities in the city of Fitchburg and to apply to get your applications in. So we're thinking that maybe due to COVID, uh, we've had a, a significant drop in grant applications. So Massachusetts has extended this deadline so that we can you know, get people, give them a little more time and a little more opportunity to think about the next upcoming year and hopefully have more chance for arts and culture uh, opportunity uh, for grant funding. Right, and this is where I wanted to have Audrey jump in. We had a special meeting so that we could uh, determine what our council priorities were for next year. And we knew that because of the current pandemic situation, we needed to flux a little bit in what the priorities were because we may need to do more online, more virtual, more outdoor events. So let's, I wanted to have Audrey talk to that, speak about that a little bit. So um, for a grant application, there are four criterias. There's, um, it has to be an arts, humanities and science project um, or, or program. Um, it has to have public benefit for um, the Fitchburg community and it must be not discriminatory, but also there's local priorities um, or council priorities, which you can find on our, um, on our website. Uh, you can click on the tab to find LCC priorities for um, all Mass Cultural Council priorities um, and uh, eligibility, uh, but you can click on uh, culture, you can count, you can click on council priorities to find our specific um, requirements and uh, priorities for our applications. Um, so additions that we made from last year, um, we considered that there's a lot of virtual events that are going on. So we um, will um, uh, we will allow um, events that are happening virtually. Um, 
we are offering uh, uh, operational support as well. Um, and operational support, that could mean um, funding expenses for our artist residencies, um, funding supplies for arts and culture programming, funding tickets of city programs, um, funding for the day-to-day -day operations of an organization that provides arts and culture programming, funding for individual artist materials to do their work, funding for streaming platforms for virtual programs, and et cetera. And I think the really important thing to note too from our, what we got from the community input meeting is that people wanted to see things outdoors more. They wanted to see things that would help teens in the communities. They wanted to see programming for in the schools. So supplies for the schools. So all of those are things that the community told us that they wanted. And so we're really interested in supporting any organization or school um, or institution that has programming that'll help the teens, that'll help low income, um, and that'll provide things that could be done hopefully next summer outdoors. So if anybody in the community has an event or a concert or a play or um, would like to su support, you know, some program that would be good for a group of students, um, those are things that we're really interested in supporting this, this cycle. And if someone in the community has an idea for a grant, but they don't know how to write a grant or they don't really know if if that idea is something that you would even fund, uh, you have a, a grant training, um, a new another grant training opportunity uh, for people that can log in on Zoom and ask questions or learn more about the grant process. That's right. We've just added yeah. a third date. Um, you don't have to go to the grant training if you already know how to um, apply for our grants, which it's a pretty simple process, but we do walk you through it um, in case you uh, have any questions or you need any assistance. Yeah, our next, yeah, sorry. <laughs> our next grant training is December 2nd. It's gonna be on Zoom and it'll be on our Facebook Live on our Facebook page as well. It's 6 p.m. on the 2nd of December. And it's roughly the last one we did was roughly about 30 minutes. We only, you know, we had one person that jumped in and was with us. So it will basically run through a video from the state level on how to apply for the grant. And then we're there to ask, answer any questions if people have questions about uh, the application itself. And certainly if anybody needs specific help getting the application done or has questions about what they should put in there, um, they can reach out to us and we can be found on Facebook at the Fitchburg Cultural Council and we also have a group page and you can message us there too. So the, you'll share the event with the Zoom link that people can log on or they can just watch it on Facebook Live as well. Yeah, yeah. And we, will do our, we do our best to try to watch uh, the live video to see if there are any comments on there um, so we can uh, include that in. And the link, a really important link, is the one that's on our screens behind us, which is mass-culture.org forward slash Fitchburg. And that's where you go. You can actually read our council priorities. You can find out how to find us. And that's where you apply also. Yeah, you can also see our calendar um, where you can see uh, the grant training uh, dates. Um, you can add it to your Google Calendar if you want, um, but you can also see our meetings, um, any important dates on there. To uh, um, further um, remind everyone or um, teach people maybe that haven't seen this yet, uh, who can apply for grants for the Fitchburg Cultural Council? Um, <laughs> so, uh, by definition on our LCC guidelines, individuals can um, apply who show that a public benefit results from the project for which they are applying. Um, a public presentation of an individual's work may provide um, the needed public benefit. Incorporated private nonprofit organizations, uh, a group of individuals coming together with common purpose, example, um, clubs or a uh, theater group um, that do not technically have a nonprofit status. Public schools, libraries, other municipal 
um, agencies and the local cultural council itself. Um, religious organizations can also apply, but um, they have to make sure that they are not, uh, that um, the cultural programming is uh, a cultural event and it's not meant to advance uh, the re religion. So religious uh, organizations can also apply, but it needs to be, um, can, can you further elaborate on that? Uh, it just needs to be cultural in nature. Um, it can't be like, you know, join our religion, uh, get a membership at our church. It's not about converting people, but if it happens to also be, you know, just a general cultural event that um, all um, can enjoy, then that could be eligible. Um, it will be up to the council as a whole um, to decide whether or not uh, your application um, is eligible for a Fitchburg Cultural Council grant. For example, if a church had a music program, perhaps, um, right. but it, they, they could apply for the funding for instruments or teacher or whatever other um, council priorities that you mentioned. Um, exactly. Or that, I mean, another example, Sam, could be like, you know, we've had some festivals here in the city that oftentimes are associated with holidays. Um, so for example, like the Greek, the Greek uh, church in uh, Greek town does the festival every year. It's a Greek festival, but it's associated with the church. So those are things that are like cultural in nature and those things would apply. Um, and I, I think that, you know, there was another festival a number of years ago that was Italian in nature. Also, there was an element of the, the local church being involved. So that's something where people could apply for that as well. Um, and certainly this year, we really would like to help like schools and uh, individual artists because we know this is a really tough year. So we really encourage individuals to apply. So this year is because of the council priorities shifting a little bit, this year is a little different. Um, so things that might not have been have been have fit into with our local priorities will this year because of the situation so that's why we really wanted to open this up and encourage maybe you know more solo artists if they've got something that they could use a project to somehow benefit the community maybe even offering a training online or opening it it up to where the public could watch them paint or you know these type things will help the artists locally, but it also is in some way educational or helping the community. So we really wanna get um, the concept out that anyone who is in our city and wants to do something but needs funding to do it, that will in some way benefit them in the city, um, they should apply for a grant. Yep, and this year we are prior uh, prioritizing applications that reach out to teens, uh, the disabled and people of color, um, low income and immigrant communities. Um, it's according to our uh, community input meeting. So thank you everyone who um, responded to our survey about that. It's very thank helpful. You. Yeah, thank you guys for, for putting in the effort and uh, helping facilitate this very important um, need in the city and opportunity for our citizens. And on that note, you uh, uh, would like to put out a call for more people to join the Cultural Council. We would. We feel like it's a really great organization and it's really nice that the state of Massachusetts has this program. And we're all volunteers who are sitting in this organization and, and helping and we're put in place by the mayor's office. But we're also looking for new volunteers because there's more with the more volunteers we have the more we can do so i wanted to invite everybody to our next meeting it's always the third tuesday of the month right now and obviously on fatv and on zoom and on facebook live as well we're trying to stream our meetings so the next one is the 15th of december and it'll be at 4 30 p.m we try to keep it to an hour that's what we're supposed to do and it's open to the public so the public can watch you can't comment unless you've got something to say on the agenda and you let myself know before the meeting. Um, and then we're happy to hear whatever the public has to say. But we encourage people, if you'd like to volunteer, you'd like to get involved in the arts and culture in, in Fitchburg, this scene, um, we could use more volunteers and we would like people to attend the meeting. 
and on a regular, you know, attend a couple meetings, see if there's a way that you think you could um, assist. And then certainly we can talk to that person about getting in touch with the city and we can make a recommendation to have them join us. So we're definitely looking for new people. So we'd love to have some guests at our meetings. Yes, and then um, because the um, our grant, we are in grant season, this is gonna be our busiest time um, after all the grants come in on December 14th. We are gonna start meeting a little bit more frequently and we will be doing the nitty gritty of um, choosing which applicants um, receive grant money. So we so the um, really uh, influence the Fitchburg community by being able to uh, give money to these amazing programs um, that benefit the Fitchburg community. So because we'll have more meetings, it would be a great time for anybody who would like to get involved to attend some of those and kind of like watch the process so that they'll see like what they're getting into. Um, most of the year, there's not so much work, but during this cycle, there will be quite a bit from all of us. And it's a great uh, process to watch. So I would definitely encourage people to just zoom on with us and watch the process. And then if you wanna get involved, reach out to us. The And the um, accelerated kind of uh, the busy season of the Fitchburg Cultural Council that goes from December 14th when the grants are finally uh, uh, in and the deadline has passed up until, what is it, mid-February? That's a good question. You know the date, Audrey? I don't know the date. I, I believe that's correct. Um, everything has been pushed. Um, normally our uh, grant application applications are due in October 15th. So we're, <laughs> so everything has kind of pushed a lot um, and the dates have kind of changed. <laughs> but I believe uh, February is correct. Yeah, I feel like it's around February 12th. So we'll have like a month, close to two months. It, like it's about a month we'll have. With the holidays, it'll be a little sketchy to get everyone meeting. Um, because we also, those meetings are public, so we have to have time to get um, that on the city's agenda, which everybody should know these are public meetings and the city has to get our agenda like a regular uh, city meeting in advance. So, so that's something that'll be posted at the city level. If people are into watching the city council, for example, they would get the agenda in the same place, which I know you could tell us a lot more about, Sam, because you're on that. But um, the city council meetings. <laughs> Well, they're all on FATV too. Thanks, FATV, for hosting all this stuff. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> the best, the best has been amazing. Yep. Okay, so I think we ran through everything we want to talk about with the Fitchburg Cultural Council. Is there anything else that you guys want to add? I think we're good, right, Audrey? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I'll, um, if you guys want some examples of programs and projects that we have funded, uh, or that we do fund, um, operating support, ticket subsidy programs, field trips, artists res residencies, public art, fellowships, community events and programs, um, site specific projects, and of course the things that we mentioned in uh, council priorities. So think yeah, about it. You know, we've had some great stuff in the past, right? Last year, you know, um, civic days, concerts on the common, Cogsall Park concerts, um, the Fire. different theater groups in the city. A lot of these organizations have gotten grants, the art museum also. So obviously the big organizations can apply, but we really want to push this year that small organizations and artists also should apply. So the, thank you so much, Sam, for all the, the support and putting us in front of the community this way. Absolutely. Thank you for everything you do. And if you're watching at home and you have an idea, really expand your mind. Think about, think about everything that was said today. Think about something that maybe you could provide and just go on, write that grant. It'll probably only take you maybe an hour, maybe 30 minutes to an hour and, you know, put up some ideas. Attend the grant training on December 2nd, get some more ideas going because uh, this is all for the public benefit. All right, thank you so much, uh, Tamar, Russell Brown, and Audrey Pendleton Chow of Curious Escape Rooms and of Gallery Sitka, Tamar. Um, thank you for joining us for the Fitchburg Cultural Council and educating us on arts and culture opportunities within the city. Uh, we will um, see you next time. 
Thank you, discussing Pittsburgh now. Thank you. Thank you.